Hello everyone, welcome to this very exciting and glorious little vlog and in this very exciting vlog I am going to be discussing with you on the full topic stock footages. Now, I will discuss everything about stock footages in two chapters. In chapter one, there's two sections. In chapter one is how to download the stock footages. In there, there's two sections. Number one section, the free stock footages number two section the paid stock footages and in chapter two i am going to be telling you how to use them in adobe after effects removing their black background so this is going to be a really lucky video of yours because you have tapped on it so let's get started <laughs> So our first chapter concludes downloading the stock footages. Now you can not only download, you can also get some stock footages in your own, you know, shops. There's some CD shop there selling DVDs, but you can download it at your home using your internet browser. So there are two sections mainly. So in the section one, let's first get on with some paid stock footage. So, so here we are in my PC and I will tell you to hold your breath because I'm going to be showing you the best paid site for stock footage and as I enter my web browser it is the epic action essentials too. Now this is the best stock footage ever known and it is famous on all over the world. It has over 500 pre-kid high efficient animals element element sorry 20 categories of effects 60 minutes of after effects training 20 bonus action sound effect you will get detailed video thumbnails and the main thing is they're pre-kid you don't have to remove their black background so you can see there will be some awesome stock footage which you can straightly apply to your vfx action films as you can see in the thumbnails and this is their site this site's link can also be found in the description below and if you indeed like extensions too i will recommend you buy it the 720 pixels for 99 this is the great choice 720 pixels but if, if you want film resolution it's available for 249 bucks and yep it's really good action shizzles too the best of the best stock footage you can watch it their video trailer very nice the sound creeps me out two versions available 2k high definition no complicated thing and this, the action shizzles too is the best for you for paid yep so i will recommend you try it out the smokes, muzzle flashes, explosions, wow. Okay, so that was some really free stuff for this. You see there, that was Action Essentials 2. If you don't really believe it, yep, it was really good. Now, we will get to uh, Section 2, which is free stuff for this. So if you don't want to buy anything, just you are just beginning out your VFX, I will recommend you get some free stock for this available free at the most in number so let's get to get through some of them okay now let me introduce you to some number one sites that you can give get free stock footages and number one in queue is detonation films now i have got this link given in the description below you can check that out going in detonationfilms.com you will find out this now clicking here and you will go inside the detonation films actual site now it has so much affected stock footage but the only exception to free stock footage is they're not pre-keyed now you can pre-key that yourself but many of them are pre-keyed here for blood pre-keyed hamstock now in detonation films you can also find free pre-keyed elements and these are very nice check them out links are in the description all of the links i have given the description and you will really get helped out 
Now let's get to the second number in queue which is footagecred.com. This link is also given in the description below and watching in footage credit, you will find yourself in a big and you can get yourself to footage credit. This is the uh, best of all the stock footages but they may be not pre but you can pre them in Adobe After Effects which I will teach you in a moment. There's so many powerful stock footages elements available for you. You can find yourself in a big mess of explosions and muzzle flashes. Believe me they're great as you can if you hover your mouse you'll find the display clicking on it will show you register yourself to download them and they're really good. Now the main mystery between this action shows too is action shows too is the real stock footage is available. They have done in real life they blasted real bombs to give this fire effect. So from action shows too is also pre keyed. They don't have they have transparent background so they have so they are costly. But for detonations films or film riot, they are animated. All stock footage is animated so they're free. And they're not pre keyed. But in detonations films some pre-keyed elements you can find and use them. So we have seen how to download all of the uh, stock footage is available on the net. All the links are given in the description below. I'm saying again now let's get to chapter 2 which is using stock footages in Adobe After Effects. And I think there will be some two sections because number one section is how to uh, Wait a minute. Number one section is some demonstration and you will have some fun. And number two, I will teach you how to remove the black background in some free stock footage. Of course, you will not get black background in action sources too, okay? So before we get started, we'll have two video demonstrations. In video one, we will see that the stock footages have the back, black, black background, so it will look so awful so meaningless why they have the black background so they're not looking real then i will show you video two in which you will find yourself in a clean true real life vfx so and i will use this let's watch them ha <laughs> anyone ready to die what was that? That wasn't even a stock footage. It had this black background. Now let's watch this video. Ha ha! Anyone ready to die? Okay, enough of me talking here. Now let's jump into Adobe After Effects so then I can live teach you how to do these effects totally easily king them. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in Adobe After Effects and I've created a brand new composition enough to fill in the space of the file that was just shown to you. I left and then I fired. Now in my firing, first of all, that there was a black background. Then I keyed and applied some of the effects and so that my this effect turned real. So. Now what you have to do is now this composition is totally empty. Now we have to apply some stock footage. So what you have to go to file, then go to import file. And now you have to explain the Windows Explorer to go to that uh, file where the stock footage is available. So you must have it with the stock footage downloaded. I have action sources too as you can see here. So I am gathering a file of muzzle flash. 07 wmv 9 dot this muzzle flash charge click to drag the muzzle flash from the project on top of the video and grab your timeline indicator to the exact position where I am just shooting grab your stuff just to the place and hey man why there's this black background this is totally awful first off you saw this black background that it was just here how did that happen very offensive how to get rid of it go to enable your effects and presets panel go there go to the search box search for the color key effect apply the linear color key effect by clicking and dragging it on your muzzle flash layer then click on the color picker tool and pick the black color you will notice that there is no now black thing available everything is now keyed even the smoke is now pre-keyed you can see the smoke 
now what you have to do is if you still have some disgust in you match the color co tolerance match the color softness then you have to apply some glow effect go to effects and preset panel search for the glow effect apply the glow effect by clicking and dragging it on your muzzle flash layer tweak these properties and give some glow effects I think you may need some masking to do because it sits in front of my gun let's do some masking let's invert the mask okay and your stuff footage is ready to go you can give some glow effects I always do just right click select new solid get the color to that get the pen tool always learn to use a pen tool let's mask out some of the areas and it's really good back there this should be good what you have to do is click on the solid press T reduce the opacity by 40% or something like that now you'll find this you have to just feather the mask and you should be good to go press let's heat up okay and you should be good to go with rendering okay so this is what concludes our discussion about stuff footages so thanks everyone if you have any questions or snaps leave them all in the section below for in detail with this tutorial oh, sorry in the, with this vlog hit the like button and of course subscribe for more videos and until next time i am going to be seeing you later i really have some work to do with this stuff footages Hey, what's that?